Good morning, this is the Phoenix Blue Update for Friday the 10th of February. I'm Tom Colley and I'll talk you through the markets this morning. Um, yesterday was a day dominated somewhat, um, as is quite often the case at the moment, by President Donald Trump. He had a meeting with the airline bosses. At that meeting he said he would be uh, announcing something phenomenal his words, not mine, um, in respect of taxation in the next two weeks or so. Um, That uh, led to um, very much a a bullish run on all the US stock markets and, in fact, worldwide stock markets. Um, We have new highs on the Dow, the S&P and the Nikkei. Um, So that played through pretty immediately. It will be interesting to see what that actually turns out to be. But uh, during the election campaign, he did talk about one-off tax incentives to repatriate billions of US dollars held off seas uh, overseas that had been earned overseas, which under current taxation laws require 30% taxation to be brought back on shore. In the same meeting with the airlines, he also talked about mending infrastructure and how that would benefit uh, airports and airlines. Um, That again leads to uh, uh, drives through to the stock marks in terms of suggestion that there will be further investment and spending um, for companies to take advantage of. Okay, before we go over to the news, just a reminder, and it's probably one of the last chances um, for next Thursday's free trading event, the opportunity in London to trade alongside the Phoenix Blue Fund Managers. Um, If you're interested in doing that, please send an email to info at phoenixblue.co.uk titled free trading, or alternatively go onto the Phoenix Blue website and um, go through the contacts page there. So that's Thursday afternoon in London, Thursday the 16th of February, an opportunity to learn about how we trade, to trade live alongside um, our most senior traders. Um, uh, An opportunity not to be missed. If you contact us, we'll get you through with all the joining instructions and invites and all the details. Okay, over to the news. Um, Well, through yesterday, we'd had, um, on Wednesday, we'd had um, the um, RBNZ, the Reserve Bank of New Zealand rate statement. That had been um, pretty dovish. Um, We'll see what that did to the Kiwi and the Kiwi cross pairs in a moment. Um, We also um, had a... um, speech from RBA Governor Lowe. Um, The Reserve Bank of Australia somewhat the opposite end um, uh, currently to the uh, Bank of New Zealand, um, speaking somewhat positively about um, the Australian economy, uh, the fact that um, inflation was looking at, it was looking like inflation would come back into the economy. We've subsequently seen um, this morning uh, Chinese trade balance figures coming in 25% ahead of forecast. Could be just an, an anomaly, but bearing in mind the huge trading relationship between um, Australia and China, that's also bullish for the Australian dollar. Coming up today, we've got manufacturing production for the UK, um, forecast um, on a seasonal basis to be uh, down from the uh, January numbers. Um, We've seen these numbers be pretty good since the Brexit vote, as the UK still uh, benefits from access to the free market. of the single European market and also at the same time from substantially reduced exchange rates for the pound. Later through the day we've got employment and unemployment for the Canadian dollar and then consumer sentiment out on the US. So over to the charts, uh, the dollar index, um, we saw yesterday a strong bullish move um, potentially that's followed through um, on what I've already mentioned about what Donald Trump said on Tuesday, we'd had a bullish day. Thursday, sorry, Wednesday, we'd had more of a bearish day. But now um, that bar's been taken out. We've got a bullish start to the day here. We're up around this level at about 170 on the dollar index, um, which a break through that level now would suggest that um, we have got a return um, of some more concerted dollar strength. So be watching for that early or through today, early next week to close above that level. Um, having broken out, as we mentioned earlier the week, of this falling wedge. 
over on the euro we've got the reverse of that naturally we've got a rising wedge we saw a breakout of that um, we shorted the market uh, earlier in the week at this level here. We took profits, but we've been taken and stopped out again. We're back in that market around 107. Uh, 05 to be precise we're back short this market looking to take advantage of that um, revival in dollar strength over on the yen well we've seen a weakening of the yen over the last couple of the de days but this is a market that i'd be wary of today um, because donald trump is due to meet today stroke tomorrow with pm arbe from japan um, Trump's already stated that um, the yen is unfair, has been unfairly weakened by the Japanese or the Bank of Japan. He's also um, concerned about the trade imbalance between Japan and um, the US. So there's risk factors in that meeting and what might come out of that meeting, bearing in mind how adept Trump is at simply tweeting comments immediately after meetings that don't appear to have any filter from his advisors or, or that sort of thing. So um, we are looking um, at this market to uh, with the yen to weaken into that dollar strength but as i said today um we will be cautious of that friday is always a potential day for profit taking but that meeting um between the japanese pm and trump um does create potential hurdles so i'll be staying away from this market today Okay, I've already mentioned that the Reserve Bank of New Zealand, a very dovish statement from them earlier in the week. We saw this play out to the short side. Um, I'm disappointed to say I missed the opportunity. Last weekend, I'd highlighted this uh, pair as the highest potential for my week ahead. I missed the opportunity on the retrade test of this um, trend line up here. I'd been short the market here previously, uh, missed that opportunity, um, and now this is a, a live order, a limit order, and I'm looking um, for price to come back to that level to take it to the short side or alternatively uh, into next week break and close below the next level for a retest of that level to take it further to the short side, um, targeting these lows around here based on those statements out of the uh, Reserve Bank of New Zealand, um, which where they stated that the this their currency was too strong, that further rate cuts weren't um, weren't off the table, and the uh, accommodation accommodative policy um, was very much still in play. One way we have taken advantage of that uh, New Zealand weakness is on the New Zealand CAD cross pair. Uh, at the beginning of the week, we mentioned that we are um, with uncertainty about the direction of the dollar from an analysis over the week. And we were looking at a number of pairs on a pure technical basis. This is one of those pairs. Technically, um, in the early part of the week on Monday, um, We'd already reached um, the weekly R2 pivot level. We usually see that if it's reached early in the week as being a top in the market for that week. Um, we had a, a small intraday entry at that level. And then when the Reserve Bank of New Zealand came out with the news, um, we took advantage of that. And as you can see, um, this market is now running away uh, or certainly running away over those two days. Um, plenty of profit in the market. We've got one stop uh, original order stop at break even profits taken we've added in around this area intraday um, stops at break even more money taken and we're currently looking for another potential opportunity um, to add in for a third and final time on this uh, at this level where we are now on an intraday basis Okay, I mentioned that the uh, stock markets, particularly the US stock markets, rallied yesterday on um, Trump's um, tax comments. Um, we can see here new highs um, above 2,300 on the S&P 500. As I've said you'll also see this on the Dow and the Nikkei. Um, currently, we're in this rising wedge. If we see a break above that rising wedge today, um, I'll be more confident that this market is going to continue to the long side. 
Um, but certainly there's potential for that there based on the comments that we've already mentioned. So we will be looking for a pullback in and around this 2,300 level, um, assuming we get that break above that wedge in the first instance. If that's not the case, I'll still remain cautious. But if we break above the red wedge, that will be um, accelerating momentum and that will give us the confidence that this market is going to move to higher levels. Okay, guys, that's it for today. So um, we've got dollar strength playing out. We've got comments from Trump. We need to be a little bit cautious over the yen because of that meeting between Trump and the uh, Premier uh, Abe of Japan. Um, have a good day's trading. Um, trade cautiously. Um, let's have our some profits off the table at the end of the week and look forward to the opportunities that arise next week. Okay, have a great weekend and we'll speak to you on Monday. Take care. Bye-bye.